What's up guys, Laidback Gaming here bringing you the top 10 of July, number 1 through 5. At number 5 we have Grody by JDog0604. He actually had a map at number 6 with KSI Milkman, so it's pretty cool to have maps back to back, I think. Anyway, this is a roller coaster map, and I really love this first initial cave. He uses the red light and the green light, and he's got some bats in the cave, which is pretty sweet. Um, but yeah, I thought it was really awesome. You know, two people fell off right there, I'm not sure why. Uh, actually, a couple of us actually had a little bit of trouble with this map. This first turn right here, a lot of people just kind of struggled with. I don't know why. Um, it is a little bit challenging. You just kind of kind of watch out for uh, when you're racing. You can't, you know, just go full speed. If you've never raced a track before, you can't just jump in and go full speed and expect to do, you know, super well and, you know, just be the best person out there. Uh, so it's not, I mean, after about a lap into the map, after you, you know, race a, about a lap, you're fine. You know the map well enough to, you know, drive full speed and stuff, and you know where to slow down and everything like that. Um, but I thought it was a cool map. Um, you know, there, I, there's a lot of roller coasters actually that were submitted. I mean, that were in the voting video. There were a lot of roller coasters that I thought were really well, that were really well made. That actually didn't make the voting. I mean, that didn't make the top ten itself. Um, but you know, I'm glad this made it. I thought this was a good map, and you know, J Dog's a great forger. I've he, you know, I've reviewed a lot of maps, and sorry, I'm not paying attention because it's lagging so bad and I'm just watching the lag and laughing I guess I don't know but uh yeah J Dog's a great fortune you know if I've done I've seen a lot of his maps and just seen him progress as a forger which is pretty awesome uh, at number four, we have Galore SX by Unknown Racing 32, and I'm almost positive he has never been in a top ten. So for him to be in a top ten, I think he's going to be absolutely just going crazy, which is you know pretty cool. I just love to you know I'm, I'd love to see how happy he is right now. Um, but anyway, uh, obviously this is a Supercross map, and I really like how you see there's two different lanes. I like how you don't just go on one lane and then go to the other lane. What you're doing, you're constantly switching over, which is really cool. And you know initially when I first saw the overview, I thought you were going to race one and then go to the next side, but you don't race you know you go over to the next side immediately and you just you just kind of switch back and forth which I really like I'm glad it wasn't you know um, just one side you'd race one side and then go to the other side I, I really liked how he did that um, but you know there were a lot of supercross maps in the voting video and so it's really cool to see him um, actually make the top 10 and actually make it in the top five it's been a while since we've actually had a supercross map make it or a supercross or motocross map make it in the top five so I think it's really awesome I'm um, sorry obviously this guy struggled a little bit got some uh, people in front of him kind of brake checking him and everything um, but yeah you know it was really awesome to have a supercross map in the top five because it's been a while like I said since we've had one um, but I thought this was a cool map you know none of, the, none of the jumps really messed up I thought they all worked fine if you don't get enough speed on this last section here sometimes you don't hit all the jumps perfectly um, um, but other than that, I thought the map was really well made, and it was really fun, and it was just, yeah, like I said, it was just awesome to see Unknown Racing up there, as well as seeing another SX in the uh, top five. At number three, we have Generator by Shadow Falcon 777 and this is really cool, because this guy actually told me that he had never made in the voting video, and, uh, you know, I put him in the voting video, and he was just going crazy, he was so happy, and to have a map of his in the top five in the top ten, which is, you know, number three, is really crazy, and uh, it's really awesome. It's, this is another roller coaster map, which is good to see. Uh, it's good to see you know more roller coaster maps getting up in higher spots. Um, there are there were a lot of roller coaster maps, double wides. You know there was like a, probably an even amount of you know supercross, double wides, and roller coasters all submitted. I really like this right here. You do like a 720, which is really cool. I'm sorry you couldn't really see it on my on my uh, point of view the 720 itself, but it's really cool. It works perfectly. I've never had any problems with it. Nobody and nobody during the open party complained about it at all. So you know for all of us it worked perfectly, and I thought that was awesome. Um, you know, I, li I like some of that stuff. You know, if you can per perfect some of that stuff, like barrel rolls or 720s or anything like that, if you can perfect that stuff, it's really awesome. And, you know, I think it's really fun to see or to race and do that stuff in the track as long as you can perfect it. You know, if you don't perfect it, it just kind of gets annoying because you keep falling over. Uh, but it was nice to see him perfect that 720 and, you know, just make a really, really nice map. I really enjoyed it. And, uh, Anyway, guys, at number two, we have Tornado by Shadow Falcon 777 So I know by now he's probably going insane to have two maps in the top ten. At number One at number three and one at number two, uh, you know, I'm sure he's very happy, and I'm glad that he is. Um, but anyway, obviously this is called Tornado, so hence the name. It's going to be a lot of spirals and just constant spirals. I honestly got a little bit dizzy while racing this map, and as you can tell, all I'm going to be doing is just moving, you know, to the right, right turn, right turn, right turn, and left turn, left turn, left turn. Um, obviously, you know, the name Tornado, that's why it's named Tornado is because uh, all these spirals and everything. Um, and, you know, it was all smooth and it's pretty cool. You actually come back. It's like a collision course kind of. You come back so, you know, you're going to be hitting mongooses. I thought I was going to be able to make a, you know, perfect lap and, uh, you know, halfway through the lap when I was coming back, I ended up hitting a mongoose and falling off. Um, but I like, I like maps like this. Uh, you know, they're really, it's really seen a lot, in, a lot more in roller coasters to where, 
a lot of roller coasters you see will go through the whole lap and then you'll go all the way backwards and you'll you know go the reverse way. Um, you know, I think a lot of roller coasters are doing that now, and I've seen, like I said, I've seen a ton of them do that, which is kind of cool. You know, I, I really enjoy that. It makes it more challenging to really, if you're really a competitive racer, it makes it more challenging to actually win the win the race because you know you got these all these mongooses coming at you, and you can't. It's hard to dodge them at the last second. For example, right here, you just see him at the last second, but you know he dodged him. Um, so yeah, it just makes it a lot more challenging and just more fun. If you like, you know, colliding with people and all that stuff, I know a lot of people like that. If you like doing that stuff, this is definitely a really fun map to do it on. We played with about 12 people, so it was pretty fun. And he actually knocks one guy right here and, you know, kills him. Gets the first strike. Awesome job. Um, but, yeah, so it's just, you know, it's fun. It's a fun map, and it's fun just racing against traffic and running into people. Um, but I thought it was awesome to have Shadow Falcon um, up in the top ten, especially twice, and I know he's going to be very excited. Um, so congratulations to Shadow Falcon. I think he did an awesome job on his maps. And I'm just, like I said, I'm just really proud that he got to, you know, have both of his maps in the voting video. And then on top of that, have both of his maps featured in the top ten, in the top five, you know, at number three and number two. And I, I know he's going to be very happy about that. So be sure to go download all these maps, guys. Um, I'll mention this again at the end of the video, but be sure to go download them all. They're all going to be in the description. So definitely go check them out, guys. They're awesome maps. And uh, I think they did a great job. There were some voting problems, honestly, in my opinion. Um, some, you know, some maps didn't get as much votes as they should have or whatever. But anyway, at number one, we have Legacy by Private Parts. I think everybody knows who Private Parts is. He's always, you know, I think every single top ten he's had a great map out. And he's always, you know, in the top ten with a great map. And, yeah, he's just an amazing forger. He's, you know, double wide wise, I think he's one of the best out there right now. And, you know, he, him and Noble Forger are probably the best out there right now. And, He's just always making incredible maps, and I really love all of his stuff that he does. You know, he's made well, he's made roller coasters in the past. He's made double wide tracks, like I said, and you know, he's just made so much different stuff. He's actually working on an affection map that's going to be awesome. I've already played on it. He's you know, he makes Slayer maps. He's just all around, just you know, a great forger, just in every different category you can think of. He's just great at it. You know, like I said, he's I've had a video that I made of him of one of his Slayer maps. Uh, I have a video that I'm going to be making of him in the future sometime of one of his infection maps. Um, so, you know, he's just, like I said, all around just an amazing forger. And his double wides just never disappoint. They're always so smooth. And it's just incredible. And it's so much fun just to race on these maps. Uh, you know, when I jumped on, when I got on this map, I was like, wow, this is just incredible. And you just know who, it, you know, you know Private Parts made the map because it's just so great. And, um, yeah, so great job to Private Parts. I thought it was an awesome map. And, um, you know, I hope he continues to forge in Halo 4 because, you know, I want to see more of this stuff in Halo 4 and maps like this that I can review in Halo 4. Uh, so I'm really looking forward to that, and I hope he continues, continues to forge in Halo 4 as well as Halo Reach. Um, but anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. If you like, if you like all these maps and you want to go download them, here's a list of all the maps. They're all, all the download links are in the description. So be sure to check them out, guys. Um, it'll really mean a lot to all these forgers to get a download from all you guys. Also, if you want to watch the top ten, number six through ten, click this annotation and it'll bring you straight to the video. There's going to be an annotation on that video that'll bring you to this video, so you can uh, kind of alternate between the two videos. But anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching and be sure to subscribe.